Now, live from WUSA 9, this is 9 News This Morning at 5 a.m. Early detection can save your life. That is the message of Buddy Check 9. But some researchers believe by the time you feel a lump, the disease is no longer at its earliest, most treatable stage. However, a new device on the market represents a major advance in early detection. It's the halo. In this morning's Buddy Check 9 report, why some are calling it a pap test for the breast. It's a new test, and I think it's very exciting mm -hmm. and really on the forefront. Dr. April Rubin is not just interested in detecting breast cancer early, she's also focusing on methods of preventing the disease that affects one in eight American women. She's the first gynecologist in the metro area to use the HALO breast pap test as part of her clinical exams. It has the potential to detect abnormal cells eight to ten years before anything would show up on mammogram. We take this alcohol pad and we're going to wipe off your nipple. Current breast screening methods are all about finding lumps. The HALO breast pap is about detecting cancer before it even exists. We've known for a long time that if you can get fluid from the milk ducts and look at the cells in that fluid in the similar way that you look at cells on a pap smear, you can detect patients who are at higher risk of developing breast cancer. Checking the nipple for the presence of precancer cells is nothing new. Buddy Check 9 first reported on the ductal lavage procedure in the late 1990s. Ductal lavage is good for women at higher risk, but the HALO system is good for all women. The breast pap test is also less invasive and time-consuming, taking five minutes versus nearly an hour for ductal lavage. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up this cup a little bit. To collect the cells, Dr. Rubin attaches adjustable cups to the breast. The device warms and massages them, making it easier to aspirate fluid. About 50% of women tested will produce a sample. And if that sample has cells and those cells are atypical, then her risk of developing breast cancer is about eight or ten times higher than it otherwise would be. With this knowledge, the physician and patient can then develop a personalized approach to future screening or treatments to perhaps prevent the development of breast cancer. I would say probably more than half of my patients have said, oh yes, let's do it now. I'm all for anything that can possibly um, help determine my risk better. The HALO breast test is about $95, but it is not covered by insurance. However, it is FDA approved.